Hello, Anthony Griffin here again with another YouTube tutorial featuring MATLAB. Apologies if the microphone is not up to its usual standards, but I had some various issues today. So anyway, today we're looking at texture-based medical image segmentation. And I'm just going to slide two here just to give the IP credit. This is not my work. I, uh, I came across this. There's a video there. Now it's in Japanese and the code is there in the master. Lab Central File Exchange, and K. Atsuka uh, is the author of both of them, so just to give him the credit. The aim is to extract information from blood slides, uh, plasmodium, and babesia, apologies for the stumble, and there's the objective. So get the grayscale core coins matrix, get the GLCM, get the specific pattern using um, a window operation NL filter, tidy up the image, uh, using various morphological operators, overlay the results, and then use active snakes to display the results again. Okay, try and get rid of that. Uh, just there, just the code is from there. There's the MATLAB Central File Exchange. So the code is there if you want to do it yourself. And the original webinar is in Japanese. I couldn't find it in English. So I said I'd have a go at it myself. So I published the code. We have to go back and look at this a function. We'll look at the function in detail in a little bit. So just there, I just given those credits again to K. So uh, we tidy up, yeah. And just looking at here, we read in the plasmodium image and the babesia image into a cell. Now, I assume you know what a cell is. I, if you don't, you can go look it up just to give you some idea. So we've read in the two images. And there they are. And we'll be looking at plasmodium in particular. So we're looking at here. So we're trying to segment that out by texture. So a little for loop there, we get the GLCM, the grey level coefficient matrix for both of them. And so down here now the offset is SZ, which is there, and SZ is 33. Three. So the offset is three rows, three columns. So we're going in a northwest to southeast direction. So we're trying to get the co-occurrence matrix going from a northwest to a Southeast, you can see my mouse there. We're going in that. The core currents are there. And why that? Because. Sorry, I shouldn't be clicking. Just go back up a little bit. We're trying to go in this general direction. Don't think it matters that much, but just. So. There are the scaled images. Remember, uh, you know, when you scale it here, it will get, the default is an 8 by 8. So by eyeballing it there, that's 5, 5. Your man says the same thing in Japanese, or I think he does anyway. There is the parasite, and we're not too worried about the babies here. So we're looking at, we want to figure out where all the value fives are, and the value fives are, we think that's the plasmodium. So we've got the GLCM, we've got the scaled image, and five five, that's the values we're looking at. We want to find the co, we want to find The value five five in the GLCM, yeah. So that's what we want to do. So we want to find five five in the three hundred by three hundred uh, image that we read in. Yeah. So there's the three hundred by three hundred. So we want to go through that. Uh, and want to find where 5.5 five occurs. 
can we do that here? Your man K does it using a non-linear filter. Uh, I suppose you could also do it with a block process. Uh, but he did it that way, so let's just go back and look at his code here. So you've read in the image, PTN is 5.5 five, and that's 3.3. Uh, three. So we're trying to find in the sliding window, does position 1.1 one, one equal 5? And does position, uh, I said 3, it's actually I have to go back and explain that. It's actually four. So position one one and an offset of three rows, three columns will give you the four four. Does one one equal five and does four four equal five? If it is, well then both positions are five and then you're in the plasmodium uh, segment. And we do the logical operator there, D one and D two are both five. So let's just go back and see here a sec, just look at the bare code. Uh, S said is three from up above, but at this point here you call it as S said plus one. So that will make three three four four so when we look at the code here, you're looking at position one one is five and position four four is also five. Okay, is that done? There's your image there, where both positions are uh, five, and you can see that there's quite a few holes in it. So one way of closing up the holes is use IM close, and IM close is a dilation followed by an erosion. K suggested 10, yeah, and this, how do you know it's 10 in advance? You don't. He just did it by trial and error. He probably tried 6, didn't work. He probably tried 8, didn't work. Tried 12, overdid it. 14, overdid it. A bit of trial and error. There's, to my knowledge, there's no way of you know, working out in advance. It's just trial and error what it is there. So there's the closed up image there. And then uh, K burnt the segmented image onto the background, but he made the background white. So you just see the, the plasmodium there. And I am overlay, that's how you do it in MATLAB, how you burn one image onto the other. He then used active contours to get a more accurate estimation of the edge. And if you're looking this up uh, and you're new to it, you may see active contours also with snakes because it's, it gives a better understanding about how active contours work. And then he burnt the active contours boundary onto the original image there. And you made the background white, so you only see the plasmodium image. Okay, hope that helps a little, and thanks very much for listening.